And we begin in the town of Chelsea, where earlier this week a massive fire broke out at a business called New England Rent to Own. Investigators with the fire marshal's office say it started in an area of the building where lithium ion batteries for power tools were stored. And indications are there was a chain reaction among several of those batteries. News Center Maine's Raya Wooten has more from fire officials about how you can avoid a lithium battery fire. They're going into everything now. They're in your phones, vaping devices, electric scooters, bikes, and even electric toothbrushes. But if used improperly, lithium ion batteries can cause a fire. Uh, we've had an e-bike that burned up, ironically, right beside station number six. Bangor Assistant Fire Chief Greg Hodge says most consumer products that use lithium ion batteries are generally safe, but damage to the battery can cause it to catch fire. Within the battery, there's just a little thin sheet that protects be between the positive and the negative side, and you, you drop your iPad or phone or whatever, and that sheet, that protective sheet gets damaged, but you can't see that. Overcharging, overheating, battery defects caused by short circuiting or aging can also all cause a lithium ion battery fire. Earlier this week, New England Rent to Own in Chelsea suffered a total loss after one building and nearly 10 sheds went up in flames. According to investigators with the State Fire Marshal's office, the cause of this mess that was left behind? Lithium ion batteries. Lithium battery fires burn a lot hotter. Hotter, longer, and Old Town Fire Chief Kyle Milan says the fires are also harder to put out. Uh, and it takes about 10 times the amount of water to extinguish a electronic vehicle fire to a traditional combustion engine fire. So if a three to 500 gallons is what a typical car fire or vehicle fire is to put out. It takes anywhere from three to 5,000 gallons to put out an electronic vehicle fire. Milan's advice, watch out for battery overheating, swelling, and air on the side of caution. It's not recommended to charge a lot of these things overnight. Um, so if it's something that you're charging in a shop or a garage or something like that, make sure you're keeping, you don't just plug it in and forget about it, that you keep, you're monitoring it while it's charging, at least occasionally. Raya Wooten, New Center, Maine. Besides firefighters, people who handle Maine's trash know more than they care to about the dangers of lithium ion batteries. Back in the winter of 2021, a battery pack from a power tool that ended up at the Eco Maine Recycling Center caught fire, which then spread to the pile of cardboard and other materials it was hidden under. The same exact thing happened a little over a year later at a Casella recycling facility in Lewiston. What makes these battery fires so dangerous is that they can reach temperatures near 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. They can also make their own oxygen, so smothering them is difficult. That is, if there is someone there to notice the fire in the first place. Something that the manager of Casella at Lewiston told us at the time was key to avoiding a disaster. The scariest part is we could have gone home and that could have caught on fire after we left the building. That's the scariest part. Why? Because then you lose the building and I got 32 people out of work. Steve Henderson's plea back then still holds true now. Do not throw away any kind of lithium ion battery pack in your household trash or in your recycling bin. So how exactly do we get rid of them? Well, there is a way to recycle lithium ions, but it has to be done properly. But remember, not all batteries are created equal. A rechargeable lithium battery pack, the kind that goes into a laptop, a cell phone, and power tools, that can be brought to most municipal transfer stations. Some hardware stores or big box stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, and Best Buy can also take those. Same with those little button batteries that power our watches and key fobs because they contain mercury and other hazardous chemicals. As for those AA, AAA, C, and D cell batteries, it's okay to throw them out in your household trash, but just a few of them at a time. Another note though, when you throw away a nine volt battery, make sure you put a piece of thick tape across both of the terminals. Otherwise they could spark a fire if they come into contact with something metallic in the trash.